20 minutes a day with the kids, I can get a pizza? Yes. Well, they get a pizza, right? right. Well, like we get a pizza. <laughs> yeah, we. Uh, okay. All right. Genealogy always comes with hurdles. And that's especially true for those with African-American roots. But an unprecedented project has provided critical new clues. New specialist Ashley Moser has a preview of Connecting Roots, a documentary that will air Saturday here on KSL. So what's in a name? When genealogist Kenyatta Berry went searching for information on her family years ago. I actually found my fourth great grandfather, Lewis Carter, had a labor contract that I found in Freedman's Bureau. She had to travel to Virginia and spend hours searching. So now that they're indexed and online, I did the search and found it in two minutes or less. <laughs> Thanks to a crowdsourcing project sponsored by the Family Search International and Smithsonian National Museum of African American History and Culture, many others can now find relatives at the click of a button at discoverfreedman.org. Anyone can do it from their home. You can do it in an airport if you're traveling and you got Wi-Fi. You can do it from your phone. The names of nearly 1.8 million men, women, and children from the early days of freedom. To have the names of that many individuals that now we can type in on Family Search and find information about them is remarkable. I wanted to be a part of something that could change people's lives forever, and this project has been that and more for me. Volunteers like Maria Marion index the records to make them searchable, completing the project in just one year. Yes, you've helped us uncover the past. What you've really done is you're helping thousands of people to be made whole again. Made whole through the stories of their ancestors. Ashley Moser, KSL 5 News. Ashley, thank you. Join us Saturday at noon right after LDS General Conference for Connecting Roots, the Freedmen's Records, right here on KSL.